I have instinct in the reverse. So someone may be thinking about you, but they didn't use their instincts about you, or they ignored their instincts, or you ignored your instincts about somebody else. So you could be thinking about a time where you didn't listen to your instincts, you ignored the red flags, and something really bad could have happened. Maybe you're wondering how you didn't see um, these red flags. Family here. So you could be having fond memories of your family. Um, this could be your immediate family, extended family. Um, they could be thinking about you, possibly missing you. They could have underestimated your instincts, or maybe they didn't know you had instincts or followed your instincts. Maybe you've been thinking a lot about just concentrating and focusing on your family, taking care of your family, possibly reuniting with the family. Somebody ignored their instincts here, whether it was you, and it could be even someone in your family that was ignoring their instincts or didn't follow their instincts when it came to causing you some sort of harm or causing harm to your family. even be somebody who wanted to partner up with you to start a family with you or vice versa let's see let's get some cards here and see who's involved in this what is going on so somebody didn't follow their instincts and they're on the wrong side of the Wheel of Fortune here, or a decision they made put them on the wrong side of the Wheel of Fortune, possibly by taking a gift or taking something that belonged to you with the Ace of Wands here. For trying to take a gift, you're moving on to calmer waters. You're a natural born leader, Queen of Wands, and you could be moving or something's moving forward for you. You have financial stability. Someone here is not getting a clean slate because they lied to steal a treasure or to take a treasure a queen of swords and somebody was very dishonest so this this queen of swords could be someone in your family <clears throat> maybe they didn't know you um you have spiritual gifts or maybe they underestimated your spiritual gifts or your knowledge or your wisdom or your ability to detect you know your bullshit meter <laughs> you know your bullshit meter might have gone off when um somebody lies to you so somebody was very dishonest, cold-hearted, um, they wanted a treasure, they wanted to take something that didn't belong to them, so they made a bad decision here. So it's looking like someone may have some consequences, they're not getting a clean slate, they don't get a happily ever after, there's some sort of consequence for whatever they did. Because something was based on lies or dishonesty, they could have lied to you about a treasure or something that was owed to you. An heirloom could be significant. Yeah, someone lied about someone being laid to rest or something being laid to rest. So, um, this Queen of Swords could have lied about the passing of somebody or what they left or what their wishes were. Something significant like that. Or something is just being laid to rest with this Queen of Swords because you know that they're not honest. Maybe you're not interested in having a relationship with them maybe you're remembering like the younger days of your youth with, um, you know this could be like a sister figure mother figure aunt something it could be anyone in your family really if this is a family member um because that could be friend family or relative so it could be someone that you even viewed as a family member so this person who was lying could have been a family member even if somebody didn't lie or pass away i mean yeah if someone didn't pass away uh, there could be a partnership someone may want to work with you here or a union that's going to happen um it could be even a like a family reunion kind of thing you could be in your manifestation mode ten of swords you could be manifesting the truth manifesting a final ending a permanent ending to some bullshit if this is your family and they did you wrong in some sort of way here you could be manifesting the truth coming out or a permanent ending to a situation. 
you know, um, there may be too many people in your family that are alike, that are deceptive, that are dishonest. And whatever, it can also be that a union, um, someone that could be manifesting you is going to put an ending to something. Or you're manifesting a partnership that will put an end to this. Somebody was not really caring. They didn't admire what you do, what you stand for. It's like they just... There's a family member here who was not loving towards you at all. I don't even know if they if, if you can say they gave you the bare minimum. And that's just the energy I'm getting. But you're seen as someone who is held in high honor. This person could be scared of you. So they could have lied because they could be scared of what you're going to do or how you're going to react. Especially if you've become very powerful. And if this is someone who is in your family and, and they watched you grow up and you've gone through a spiritual transformation or an ascension or something like that, and your gifts have gotten stronger, you know, you may have always had these gifts since you were a child. Um, you know, you're typically born with some of these gifts here. Um, and then they just get stronger and uh, more defined as you get older, depending on if you want to work on them or enhance them, whatever. Um, your gifts could be at a level that is scares these people or this person. And so they could have lied to try to cover something up because they could be scared about how you're going to react or what you're going to do if you find out the truth about what happened. There's definitely a family member involved in this. Whether it's, um, you know, the person that was trying to steal the treasure or, um, you know, somebody knows that somebody stole a treasure and they were trying to cover it up. There was a message of concern that someone here received, and it could have been the Queen of Swords. I'd like to get a few more cards here. There was some barrier that was put in someone's past, so someone got a message of concern. This is a challenge. A decision has been made regarding a barrier that was placed in someone's path. Especially if they're the ones that put it there by lying or trying to cover something up. Somebody could see you as their happiness. Um, you know, you could be focused on your family here, just worried about your family's stability. You know, if you're married, um, you know, or your kids, you don't have to be married, but you know, you could just be worried about your own happiness, concerned about your happiness. So maybe you're not concerned with some sort of drama. You could be receiving some sort of information, the Knight of Wands, it could be communication from the court, or somebody is going to receive some sort of communication from the court. Um, there's a moment of reflection here. So there's a moment, there's something that stopped regarding some sort of communication. So there's a barrier that's standing in someone's way because of some sort of information that has been discovered or that has come to light. <clears throat> This person was placing heavy burdens on you, and they created a very emotional situation. This could have even been someone who heard about a family member of yours passing or something like that and thought that they were going to steal your inheritance or some crazy shit like that. This person got a message of concern that there's a tower moment coming, or that they brought a tower moment to themselves because they were dishonest, they were lying and hiding. There could be a king of pentacles, there could be a wealthy masculine. Um that wants to come out of, that's going to help you come out of the cold, or it's a masculine energy um, that could be headed into the cold if they were greedy, depending on if they're actually in the upright or not. And when I split the deck again, the King of Pentacles is in the reverse, and then we have the King of Cups in the upright. So this person may not have been um, doing things like their business owner, something like that. They may have tried to rip you off or steal some sort of finances from you. And they could have maybe thought that um, if you had a family member pass away, they could have thought that they were going to get some sort of money or an inheritance from you. But somebody does want to partner up with you with that King of Cups energy. And once again, that's a challenge for this group of people who are scrambling to do something. So someone may not have listened to their instincts about you and your family. Maybe your family's tapped in and, um, you know, there was a treasure here and somebody underestimated you and your treasure possibly these spiritual gifts or whatever that's been handed down through the generations they could be trying to figure out how you know what you know um how you're doing what you're doing why they're not able to get this money from you or this treasure from you they're in despair over something here and they're really not happy about a union coming together 
like I said, it could be a union of a family here. And then we have the King of Swords here. And then we have the King of Wands that came out sideways. So, ooh. So someone's kind of cold-hearted. They're shut off emotionally. And then we have this King of Wands who is like restless, um, not a, you know, kind of a player energy. Um, and I'm going to get a couple more cards. It could be the same person, but I, I get that it could be two different masculines. Or I'm at least getting two different masculine energies that are coming out because we had the King of Cups that came out just a minute ago as a challenge when I split the deck. Okay, so there's a King of Wands here who wants to keep you bound and trapped and keep you left out in the cold. You could be in your King of Swords energy. You could be speaking some sort of truth. Or this is, um, you know, someone who could be speaking the truth about you. This could be a judgment going in your favor. But there's a Knight of Wands here. There's something significant about this Knight of Wands because this came out sideways. So this person could be trying to stop you or interfere with your family. There's a permanent ending here, the Ten of Swords. There's a King of Wands here who's trying to cause an ending regarding a King of Cups and a King of Cups coming towards you or you coming into union with this King of Cups. You know, the King of Wands, they could be attractive. This could be somebody that you were in a partnership with. You may also have options when it comes to coming into union with someone for like a love situation. The King of Wands is trying to screw shit up for you probably because they were married. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. So there's trouble in paradise for somebody here who is non-committal, um, you know, restless, antsy probably bored in their relationship or marriage so there's a king of wands who doesn't want you to move forward because they're attached or they were attached to this queen of wands and there was a message of concern that someone got about this person and it could even be they got a message about this queen of wands someone who was a player you could be the king of wands and you could have been dealing with um you know the queen of wands at one time you could have been married to this person and they were hiding who they really were and you could be speaking some sort of truth, um, and some sort of truth that's being spoken, you know, um, is going to put a permanent ending to something, but this King of Cups may want to come into partnership with you, so, um, it could be three different energies, I don't know, there's, there could be three masculines, you could all be in your masculine energy, even if you're a female, uh, we had the Queen of Swords who came out in the reverse, and it's been coming out in, in the readings that there's like two sets of married couples and we have the King of Swords and then the Queen of Swords in the reverse and now we have the King of Wands who came out sideways and then the Queen of Wands who came out upside down. So it's like there's two pairs here. There's two sets of couples. And then we have this King of Cups here who's like just chilling like by the, you know, it's just like there. <laughs> really weird. Let's see if we can't find out what the heck is going on. I would really like some more information about who these people are. Or what their intentions are playing in your energy. So, challenge. S something that was taken is going to end up in a victory. So something that was taken could be end up getting returned. Or somebody thought they were going to have a victory if they stole something. It could be one of these masculines. Your financial security is protected. Something that was done in darkness is being brought to light here with the moon. Scorpio death energy. There's a karmic here that did something regarding information or communication with the Knight of Wands. They tried to stop you from receiving information or communication. They were trying to block you from getting this. Where they lied to stop something from happening. Possibly to stop you from getting a treasure or something. 
if you were with one of these people, like if you were in a relationship with one of these people at one time, they could have maybe tried to say that you were still married or something. They could they could be saying that you're still married. Maybe you've been divorced or something. So keep that in mind as well. Someone could be lying about still being married to you even though they're not. So they were not compassionate with... Someone was a gold digger. They made a bad decision on the Wheel of Fortune here. So they made a bad decision when they lied to the court or tried to block some sort of communication because they thought they were going to get some sort of money here. And you've been working really hard. So you've been working really hard on your financial stability and trying to like regain your footing. So you're just focused on work and your family at this time where you're going to be. Someone may also have thought if they could come into a relationship with you, they would have a shot at taking this. There's a crossroads here. There's a decision regarding coming out of the cold. Someone may be contemplating helping you come out of the cold or coming towards you. Um, or you just have a decision to make on where you're going to go or how you're going to come out of the cold here, out of this Five of Pentacles energy because you're heavily burdened. You know, you have the strength, courage, you know, you're strong as hell but um you may have a decision to make on which direction you want to go or how you're going to come out of this five of pentacles energy and there could be some sort of communication you could even be at a crossroads um regarding some sort of communication on whether or not to communicate with somebody this could be somebody from your past or at least somebody that you already know that maybe you're hesitant about communicating with. So your hard work is laying something to rest. Whatever barriers were put in your path, there was a secret that was being kept from this King of Pentacles in the reverse here. So this King of Pentacles was trying to keep something hidden. And they were a karmic, so you learned your lessons. If you were attached to this person, you learned your lessons. You moved on from this person, whoever this is in this situation. Um, the King of Pentacles could be the same as the King of Wands in the reverse. They could be different. Or the King of Wands is actually sideways here. But, um, you know, wherever you fit in this. But there's a King of Pentacles here that was keeping a secret. They were trying to stop something from coming to light or being exposed. But there's something that's being brought out to light. There's something significant about someone's financial stability and illusions that were created. So somebody was trying to keep it hidden that they lied about creating illusions about maybe why someone was financially struggling. <clears throat> or the fact that they were a thief and they were a gold digger. Okay, so the King of Wands created illusions. You were in a partnership, or they were in a partnership. So there was an illusion surrounding a king of wands and a partnership. This could have been them partnered up with you or them partnered up with someone else. But there is an illusion that's created. Um, there's something that's off or not right about this partnership. Whether it was them with you or them with somebody else and they lied. The knight of wands, communication. Communica it keeps coming out. The knight of wands keeps coming out. There's some sort of communication and it could be blocked. So someone's in despair. Someone was in despair. Their challenge. Because they only cared about their financial stability. So someone who only cared about money. So the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles could be the same person. person could want to communicate with you or you're going to receive some sort of communication possibly about this person they left you out in the cold for some sort of competition that's a challenge for them um they left you out in the cold because they're competing they could be competing with you as well but either way or you left them out in the cold so um because someone was trying to compete with you 
where you knew that someone is trying to compete, whether it's them with whoever they partnered up with, they created an injustice here. So there's a king of wands who created an injustice with lies and illusion. It had to do with a partnership of who they were with. This emperor wants to come towards you and communicate to with you. Oh man, you gotta be shitting me. So there was a stalemate. They want to come towards you and make you an offer now, but that's only because something didn't go in their favor before. And the Five of Swords, they want to clean up a betrayal and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So, yeah, they were, they were a gold digger and a player. They didn't get the new start, the new beginning they were expecting to get, possibly an inheritance. There could be a lot of people talking about this person. And you've had the strength and courage and perseverance to get through something here. You know, you're strong. <laughs> you're, you're, you're fighting a lot of battles on your own. And something is moving. You could be moving, traveling. Something is in motion. You're not stuck anymore. Somebody didn't get the recognition they thought they were going to get. They didn't get whatever reward or award they thought they were going to get. And there's people, there's going to be a celebration, there's going to be talk, happiness, um, possibly a small get-together or a meeting. It could be a group of people that you're a part of, or it could be a group of people that's meeting without you being present. But there's a group of people here that are, like, proud of you, or talking about your accomplishments, or what you've been able to accomplish. How you were able to overcome all these obstacles. So, the King of Wands lied about being in a partnership. They could have lied about being in a relationship with you. They could have said they never dealt with you. Possibly because they were married and you didn't even know it. And then we have the King or Queen of Swords here. Um, they could be, um, you know, they were very cold-hearted. Very shady. Somehow this, this, these people know this other couple. Oh, man. And they were very, um, and they lied. They were spreading, they could have been spreading lies and rumors and gossip and all kinds of crazy shit. Life is a struggle for this King of Wands. That's the last one that came out sideways. So, life is a struggle for this person. They racked up some spiritual karmic debt. They did not follow their instincts. They didn't listen to their intuition. Um, there was an injustice they were trying to stop from being made right. But their spell work backfired. Don't believe everything you hear. So, there's a lot of talk going on about this person and um, what they did. They, they, they could have even accused you of being a homewrecker or something, and you didn't even know that this person was married. There's a lot of masculine energies in this, so uh, you could it could be a, um, a same-sex situation, or it could be a female that's in their masculine energy. <clears throat> as far as the divine, whoever's in the upright in the situation. It could also be that your energy is the King of Cups, so. Somebody made too many fake profiles to count, so they were trying to keep an injustice from being made right by doing something with profiles, stalking, possibly even harassing. <clears throat> Someone could have lost their spiritual gifts here because they didn't have divine protection, and someone here knows the truth. This could be someone in your family. Like, this could be a brother figure, sister, whatever. I mean... Well, we had the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords come out as well, I believe. 
At least, yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of people. This could be a family. This, this could just be a family. And someone was trying to stop you from partnering up with someone. Someone's spouse could have been attracted to you or something like that. Or, I don't know, man. Like a family friend or someone that knows your family. Maybe you didn't even know they knew each other. I don't know. There's, a, there's like two or three different married couples in this or committed relationships or something. Something's a misunderstanding. Someone knows the truth and they're saying that it was a misunderstanding. It's not, obviously. They said it. They're saying it is. Or they're going to say this. Someone is lying. They're acting like they don't know. They know the truth, but they're saying it's a misunderstanding. So someone's not taking accountability for their bullshit. Because they did something in the last one to three months. This is a father or son or regarding a father or son figure. They want you to think that something is a misunderstanding. That it was, they weren't trying to do what they were trying to do. So it could be your family and your, your past partner that was working against you with their bullshit. I mean, you couldn't, you fight, you couldn't, yeah. You've been dealing with a lot of conflict, like a lot of stuff. Like not only were you having issues possibly within your own family here, um, I said your immediate and extended. So whatever family you may have created with someone that you were partnered up with or married to, they could have split up, they could have remarried, and that could be one of the couples here. And then you have maybe an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, something like that, like, and their shit storm, their group of people that they created. You have a lot going on. I, I mean, a lot. A lot, a lot. Children are involved in this, so you have children, or someone has children here, so children is significant. You could, you could be someone who's working to get your children back, child back, whatever. You could be fighting with this ex- um, whether it's a spouse or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, you could be fighting battles with them. It's like you're fighting with people who supposedly have moved on with their lives and have significant others, quote unquote, significant others now, but yet they're still causing all this bullshit for you. It's crazy. like baby mama drama to the extreme but you could be the man or the woman here someone's not going to miraculously recover someone is crazy someone is unstable so someone here is not going to be able to recover they are unstable they're being controlled by spirits and you're not interested i don't want you so you're you listen to your instincts your intuition and you realize that there's something not right about a person you know, the rose-colored glasses has fallen off. They have fallen off regarding whoever this is that you were dealing with. Let me check these out. Some of this stuff is just getting, like, ridiculously crazy. So someone was upset and hurt, possibly because someone told them that they didn't want to be with them anymore. Someone was on the wrong path. So they were stuck and there were barriers in someone's path. Because they were... They could have been being put there. Someone sad that they couldn't take you off of your path and keep you stuck. They were keeping secrets. Or you were. Someone here was keeping secrets. Um, and they were trying to keep it hidden. That they were the ones that were trying to keep you stuck and keep you off of your path and keep you sad and depressed. Someone wanted to keep you in your emotions and keep you from moving forward. But you're the high priest priestess energy here, so um, nothing nothing seems to work regarding their attacks against you and the barriers they put in your path because you're still moving forward. It may have taken a little while to get there, because obviously they, they did a lot, and you had a lot of people putting these barriers in your path, but they brought bad luck on themselves, they're on the wrong side of the wheel of fortune. They could be trying to keep it hidden that they're experiencing bad luck as well. <clears throat> they could have done something in the nighttime, so the nighttime could be significant.
someone does not like what you do like you are a true artist high priest priestess energy here then we have an emperor so there's an emperor who is seen as a high priest or priestess here very creative very um you know you're good with whatever it is you do you could be seen as a treasure um you're very talented and someone was keeping it hidden that they were sad about this like they were secretly upset about your talents You could be a man or woman here because I have the high priestess energy and then the emperor energy here. Um, so it could just be that the emperor is the high priest or a high priest. Um, but someone is really sad about your gifts or your abilities, your talents. You must have some spiritual gifts here and, and someone doesn't like that. They could be scared of you. Like you could have a whole family that's scared of you. It could be your family. Someone's scared of possibly your accuracy. Like they don't they don't want to believe it like they tried so hard not to, <laughs> they tried so hard not to believe that you um you know you know what you're talking about because it could go against possibly everything that they stand for and they don't like that someone's fit to be tied someone is losing their shit someone who is unstable here could be losing their mind Water sign Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be significant. A Leo in the reverse. I have Earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in December. Then I have Air sign in the reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in the fall. And initials I, J, K, and L. So there's a lot of signs that just came out just now so this is going to you know be relevant for quite a few people which is just crazy with all the, <laughs> the situation chips within the situation chips going on here you know you fighting your own family and then people or you know whoever you had a family with you know it's this is just nuts like someone's coming full force with an army behind them it's like someone's leading the charge here someone someone is like going all in because they lied so someone got an army together to attack someone here because of a lie and masculine energy so there was a masculine here that lied so uh, this person could have like an army, a raid, or a SWAT team situation going on. Uh, like this person is, um, they're in trouble. They're scared, man. They're scared. They're in trouble. They were trying to keep whatever they did hidden because they were possibly afraid of this mob mentality. But there's a group of people here and someone's leading the charge. Someone's really pissed off about what an emperor did and the lie that they told and there's like a mob, like a lynch mob or something going after this person's ass. They celebrated having some sort of victory over, you know, a bride figure, a feminine energy, or there was a feminine energy here in the reverse that was celebrating. It could be that Queen of Swords. So it could have been um, somebody that they married to, the Queen of Swords, in the reverse here. Um, so that could have been who they married. So whoever this emperor is, they could have married like that lion-ass queen of swords or something like that. And then they could have all been lying about you. I don't know, man. There's a lot, a lot. <clears throat> You're just going to have to, um, you know, figure out which part of this applies to you. If all of it does, it all does. But you have a lot of people um, working against you, or you did. They lied to leave you out in the cold, you know, with, you know, you just kind of standing there twiddling your thumbs. So there was a lie that was meant to isolate you, leave you out in the cold with, where no one would come to help you or come to your aid. They could have lied and said that you were a hoe, that you were a player. So um, this unstable person has a whole group of people that could be watching your house. Some sort of lie that they told has a whole group of people possibly trying to attack you in your home. There's something significant about a home being watched. 
so that there could be possibly a raid for this person. Um, like I said, someone's home could be being watched, or the lies that this person told has a whole group of people watching your home and trying to keep you trapped and guarded, not able to move or do anything. This person was really dark and they thought that this was funny. And they thought that they could hide in the shadows and stay hidden in the shadows. <clears throat> and there could have been two masculines that were working together to do this. So they could have been buddies. But you're running. You're trying to get out. You're escape. It's like you're, you're like, you know, I'm, I'm getting like a time, time is of the essence kind of energy. Like you could be starting to maybe feel panicky about how you're going to escape or how you're going to get out of something. And you're willing to do anything and everything to like try to get out of this shit because you're tired of this you're tired of being hurt bullied harassed you want to get away from these people um this can also be someone who's trying to rush towards you because they know you're getting close to getting out or finding out the truth um because you're not giving up you won't stop somebody wanted you to stop digging stop looking into a situation um whatever secrets they were hiding they want you to stop I heard stop while you're ahead, but you're not ahead, and they're making sure you're not getting ahead. That's why you're digging into this and why you're pissed off, because it's like these people are trying to stop you from finding out a very important truth, and it's like you're on the brink of finding whatever bullshit truth this is, possibly about your family. And someone knows about this. It's like, man, there's like secrets upon secrets. Like, this is like some generational bullshit. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is nuts. Someone's trying to figure out how to throw you a curveball because you didn't unalive yourself. Or there's some sort of secret about, you know, um, this feminine energy who lied that, you know, maybe you were not meant to be alive. They're trying to throw you a curveball because you're not, you know, the challenge is, is you were supposed to not be here or somebody passed away. And it could be the Queen of Swords energy, so someone could be kind of picking up where that Queen of Swords left off if you were being attacked by a Queen of Swords, or it's like someone's covering up, there's a family that's covering up for someone who lied, and they could have been the one who passed away, someone could have passed away here. <clears throat> they could have done something to unalive themselves, or, you know, there could have been some health issues, whatever the case. Um, could be corrupt law officials with the civil servant kind of you know, female in the reverse, so it even could have been a member of the court that was lied, Queen of Swords, somebody who took an oath to tell the truth, um, yeah, there's a whole lot, there's a whole lot, somebody was hiding, they wanted you to be in poverty, they wanted you to be grief-stricken, poor, somebody was wearing a disguise here, um, they really wanted you to, like, not have anything, and, and they wanted to steal a treasure from you, Someone is tr acting like they want to help you. Someone's pretending to be your friend. Someone's really not your friend. Someone's wearing a disguise. This could even be your siblings. Your family members. They're not your friends. I I don't mean to be mean, but some they're not your friends. You thought they were or you think they are. They're not. They're covering up for somebody or something like i said the queen of swords could be your sister these married couples um the married couple could be one of your siblings i mean i'm telling you there's something not right about this the queen of swords could have been um, like a mother figure who died or something like that who passed away your siblings could be trying to cover something up someone's acting like they're your friend and they're not they're not they're covering up something really really dark and I feel like you know the truth. This person knows the truth. This person that is acting like they want to help you, they know the truth and they're trying to intentionally give you misdirection. Someone gave you, fed you some bullshit. They lied. Someone fed you some lies to cause you misdirection and you may know the truth or someone knows the truth here. Man, this is a complex one. They, they, these, these are getting really in there lately. Um, there's a lot to sort through. They're scared. There's a married couple. At least one of them's scared. But there's a married couple here who could be scared. They're in fear. There's a masculine and emperor energy who's connected to this in some sort of way. A father figure, a lover, a husband. So, um, you know, your father, your siblings could be involved in this. Your ex-husband could be involved in this. You know, whatever the situation. Ex-lover. 
baby daddy, baby mama, whatever, this person really thought that they were ready. It's like they were ready waiting to receive and they're going to be pissed off or they were pissed off to find out they're not getting something. So your own family could have worked with your ex here. Somebody doesn't want to be married anymore or someone's backing out of a relationship or a marriage. Hurt, pain. So someone could have ghosted you, walked away from you, a challenge here. Somebody doesn't want to be married and there's a lot of pain here. Someone did something very painful to hurt them. So someone could be vindictive and out of spite. Someone could be doing something out of spite because you you divorced them. So someone could be trying to hurt you because you divorced them or left them. Or vice versa, something like that. Someone's trying to hurt someone because they don't want to be married anymore. Or they didn't get married or they backed out of a marriage. Something is just for show. Regarding a treasure. And there were multiple people here playing games and creating all this bullshit and they thought this was funny. There was a group of people here who were involved in this and they thought this was funny. They didn't think there were going to be consequences by screwing you over. This is your own family, man. This is your own family and your ex, whatever. Like I said, there it, it could be multiple exes. Like, man... This is some dirty ass shit. I'm not even gonna lie. This is some dirty, dirty shit. You were done so, so wrong. So, so wrong. Because you knew somebody was putting on a show, putting on a front, just to get some sort of treasure. So somebody was putting on a show just to steal something from you. That gold digger energy. Someone's putting on a show, they're putting on a front. They could have wanted to marry you, to steal this from you. You know, it's like... This is crazy. Anything else? One of the sad realities of life is laundry always cools off. So you're cool, you're level-headed. You're just... It is what it is kind of shit. Like, you're just not... I don't know. These people are so worried and scared of you, but it's like... You're just chilling. You're, you're just like... You know, you've had time to cool off. You've healed. Home is where they understand you, your majesty. You are like the king. You're the king or queen. You're you're like in charge. You're like the high priestess energy here. And you're about to have, um, you know, this abundance. Or moving towards this energy of abundance. It's like you're good on your own. That really bothers these people, that you're not codependent on them, or whatever, I don't know. It look, really seems to bother these people that you can stand on your own. It's really driving someone crazy. Like, it is really driving someone crazy about how smart you are and intelligent you are. Because they wanted you to give up, they wanted you to be depressed here. Like, they really tried it. Whatever they did, they really tried it. Someone is pissed that you have boundaries. Angry. Someone's really pissed. That loved and lost you. Pisces. Three strikes, you're out. Someone struck out. They did something too many times. Cancer. They opened up a whole can of worms. To add insult to injury, they're not honorable. And they didn't love you. You have boundaries. Draw the line on a Saturday. So you may have had to draw the line on a Saturday or Saturday is significant here. Someone didn't really love you. They were using you. You know this. They were connected to your family. They know your family. I don't know what. This is all nuts, man. 
Leo, Aries, double Capricorn, significant. Someone lost their head. Then Gemini flipped out sideways in December. Wow, that's a lot of signs. There's a lot of signs that came out in this reading. <laughs> that's a lot. Find cuddle of fish. There's a whole group of people that are your ops. Team player. They're not your team player. They're your enemies. And this is like your own family and your exes. You're reading between the lines. Someone could have court coming up. Yeah, these people judged a book by its cover. Someone judged a book by its cover. Someone was just a fair weather friend and they're being stubborn. They don't want to admit that they're wrong. They don't want to admit that... You know, they didn't want to make the best of a bad situation and what goes around comes around. And someone, they're trying to stop something from spilling the beans here. You could have spilled the beans, tried to break a cycle of abuse. There's a lot of people talking, okay? Heard it through the grapevine. There's a lot of rumors, talk, gossip going on. The moment of truth coming out because you're the boss. King or Queen of Wands, energy in the upright. <clears throat> Someone's letting the cat out of the bag. This came out sideways, so spilled beans. Cat being let out of the bag. Secrets are being exposed. These people can't keep hiding it forever, and you're so close to figuring out what the secret is, or someone knows what the secret is, they're going to spill the beans, they're going to talk, whatever the case. Um, someone's not able to hide this in anymore. It's like they're scared of possibly what could happen to them, especially if someone in your family passed away. Um, they could be scared, thinking that maybe you caused this in some way, shape, or form. Maybe they're thinking you curse them or hex them, especially if they're like a religious family or something like that. They could be thinking all kinds of things about you, but you really have these family members scared of something. They could be avoiding you. You may notice that they feel uneasy, like their energy feels uneasy around you, like they're nervous about something, they're kind of quiet, or, you know, just pay attention to their body language. R could be significant. You. I. You spell it on the table. B. F. Ruiz could be significant. R U I Z. That could be someone's last name. Someone feels like they ru they're ruined. <clears throat> Another I. Someone's definitely being watched. You could think someone's your best friend, or someone feels like someone's their best friend, but they're really not. It's someone who's working against them, okay? In E. G. I was going to say and E and then stop, and then I remembered all those signs that came out, so I'm going to pull a few more. T. Someone could drive a Mustang GT. Uh, another T. There could be something significant about the phone company, like AT&T or something like that. And a third eye. Someone's third eye could be significant. Someone could be trying to block your third eye, block their third eye. Someone's third eye could be getting activated or woke. Alright, so I have RU, three eyes. B F K E G T T. I'm gonna do one more. A. All right. I hope this helps. Have a good day.